gospel song by the Augustines. I'm Kali D. And I'm Colby Shaup. And we are just here to remind you that coming up soon this Friday, though it is a snow day, we are still going to be giving the people what they want, a fresh new episode of the Entertainment Interruption. That's right. It's so fresh that it hurts. It's so fresh that the sell-by date is two months from now. It's so fresh that if you order it at Subway, they'll say, I'm sorry, we don't have that. It's too fresh. It is so fresh that Will Smith wrote a rap about it, and we sued him for royalties. Uh that's uh, right. Is that the D and me, Colby Shaw, here for a brand new episode of the Entertainment Interruption. And sadly, uh, Muhammad could not be here today. He had to go back to his home planet after he was discovered hanging out with Drew Barrymore and some kid named Elliot. So I don't know what that's about. He should be back next week. I think we're going to start off the show on a good note. We're going to be doing Movie Wars. That being said, my predictions are, number one, American Sniper again. Because it's just, like, there's so many people who are talking about this movie. I don't know about you, Colin, but I'll talk to people about movies just in regular life, and every time someone mentions, oh, I just saw American Sniper the other day, it was great, I'm going to go see it again this weekend. Uh, Number two, Project Almanac, because there's actually been a lot of positive buzz about this, and I think people will see found... There's a group of people who will see whatever found footage, horror, sci-fi movie comes out, whether it looks good or not. And number three, The Boy Next Door, because there's actually been people who said it's like a fun little throwback psychological thriller movie. They said it's a lot of fun, very dumb, but a lot of fun. Good acting can never fix crappy writing. I don't care if you got Robert De Niro or whoever you have. It's not going to work. Just the second half of that joke is a really funny concept of a judge saying, overruled. That is funny. Like, that yeah. concept is funny, but they it seemed like they just jammed that in. It, they didn't, it wasn't real. And my biggest problem with Ted 2 is that it is so completely obvious that um, McFarlane didn't try to create a new character. Ted, the teddy bear, is Peter from Family Guy. No oh, yeah. difference. It's the exact same voice. It's the same crude humor. It's honestly the same stupidity. It's not even a new character. He just copied and pasted it, made it a teddy bear. And to be honest, uh, Mark Wahlberg is basically just Brian without the darker. Uh, Josh Trank. Let me uh, talk to you, Mr. Josh Trank. He is the director of Chronicle, and he's directing Fantastic Four. Okay, uh, Josh Trank, if you'll please just join us uh, for the show. Hello, Joshua, Josh, Mr. Trank. When I saw your film, Chronicle, I said that it was a game changer and the best found footage film I'd ever seen, and I meant that. I think you're a talented director. I really like you, and I want you to do well. However... When I watched your new trailer for Fantastic Four, now given it was a teaser trailer, maybe you did better than this, it looked like every movie ever. The narration uh, felt like it was just ripping off a bunch of speeches about the future of mankind and where we are and all that stuff. It felt like you were ripping off Interstellar and Independence Day. And we are back with more of the entertainment interruption. We have a very special guest here because in our ongoing segment, Entertainment Interruption Mailbag... Our friend Zach on Twitter asked us, you guys never talk about movie scores and soundtracks. What are some of your favorite movie scores and soundtracks? Here to talk to us about soundtracks and scores of movies is our resident movie expert, Hallie Nowak. Welcome to the show, Hallie. Hey. Thank you so much for being on the show. So with that being said, can you just give the audience a brief distinction? A lot of people don't know the difference between movie scores and soundtracks. What would you say the difference is? Sure. Um, scores are mostly instrumental, and then soundtracks are like a collection of different songs from different artists. I guess that'd be my definition. Okay, with that in mind, what is your all-time favorite movie soundtrack, and what do you think are some of the best? One of my favorite movie soundtracks happens to be Garden State. It was released in 2004, and it has a lot of good indie rock artists on it, including uh, Coldplay with their song Don't Panic from like their 2001 album Parachutes. Um, I'm a closet Coldplay fan, so that's why I like it, I guess. And then they have a couple of songs from The Shins. And then they also have a song by Simon and Garfunkel and Nick Drake. So it's a pretty folksy soundtrack. It's interesting how a lot of coming-of-age uh, movies have a lot of good soundtracks like Boyhood, uh, Breakfast mm-hmm. Club, and probably my all-time favorite soundtrack, which is The Graduate. 
uh, was also done by Simon and Garfunkel. It was it's just great. Uh, you can the great thing about it is that the songs are memorable, but at the same time they don't take you away from the movie. 